Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bring another MMO video. This time we're gonna do a video on Revelation Online. Revelation Online is a up-and-coming MMO. It's not released in the West yet. Uh, the closed beta is gonna be starting off soon. I am currently playing the Chinese it's open beta. It might be released. I'm not really too sure. Chinese something. <laughs> um so let's kinda get a dive into this game and see what it's all about. Revelation Online has the same look and feel as Blade and Soul and Terra. Um, Blade and Soul in terms of, I would I'd definitely say like the kind of the art style as well as the gameplay style. Um, kind of the, the graphics, the, the character models, etc. Yeah, it's very similar to Blade and Soul in that regard. And Terra in terms of its UI, its, um, its maps. Um, as well as I would say it's PvP targeting, it's kind of a little bit more fast paced where it also has essentially skills that you cast. It's not really uh, where in Blade and Soul, you know, each each skill was given a certain certain button function, so to speak, um, or combo. It, it's your traditional hot bar. You can see the similarities with Terra where your auto attack and quote unquote alt attack is kind of bounded to your mouse mount and mouse 2. Uh, so yeah, it's very similar again in terms of Terra. Uh, so this video, I, I'm not going to be too, too critical. I'm just going to kind of give an overview of what this game is. So it's not necessarily going to be a review, just an early look. So let's get it started with the graphics. The art style and the graphic style is very similar to Blade and Souls in terms of that anime-like feel. It, I, I would, in my opinion, say this is a mix of Blade and Soul and Terra put together. The quest structure, the icons, the dialogue—you can kind of see from the UX, or at least the the UI, the HUD. Um, it's very, very similar to Blade and Soul. I mean, these icons—if you were to, you know. See, just just the icon you would actually think might come from Blade and Soul, right? So it has that that Blade and Soul like feel. Um, with that, I mean, some people like it. Uh, some people prefer more realistic or or whatnot. Uh, I personally, I I'm okay with this this art style. So like Blade and Soul, you have this sprint system that you can use. But unlike Blade and Soul, you can actually fly pretty far. You know, in Blade and Soul, you had that air gliding thing. But that was kind of limited, right? In this one, you can take off, and you, you can see in, the, in parts of this video how far I am flying. Uh, by holding Shift and W, you can take off and jump and pretty much go a lot of places. Speaking of getting around using Sprint, one of the things you can get in this game is wings. Yes, so this is like an introduction quest right here that gives me temporary wings. So I'm assuming you can probably buy them uh, later on in the game that last longer or if not permanent. Well, essentially, you pop this skill and you get wings and you can fly around. And you're supposedly able to do aerial fighting as well. I didn't really get a chance to try that mechanism out. What I was able to do is kind of see if there's any sort of limitation. And from my experience there wasn't any sort of limitation on the character so a limitation in terms of what Aeon did if you guys remember Aeon where you could only be up in the air for like you know 30 seconds or so and this one it seems pretty infinite as long as the wing item itself is on you in addition to having wings um being able to fly around one of the things you get in this game is mounts as, as well you get one of the early mounts early in the game I think like level 20 or so but the <laughs> the model itself looks so weird. You can kind of see this model right now, how awkward the animation is. But you do get it, and it is a way to kind of move around in the game using mounts. So now let's look at the classes. Classes for the game, they have your typical uh, Holy Trinity. It has your tank. It has your DPS, the melee DPS, and your healer. So in this game, your tank is wielding a giant pole arm and a giant shield. Uh, your melee DPS is dual wielding swords. Your healer is, kind of uses this bell to um, do some healing. 
Uh, your mage is actually a pretty unique class. Uh, your mage is called a sword mage, and it, you, the class uses its sword to dish out its uh, magical damage. It is a ranged class, even though the name is sword mage. It uses sword to dish out magical damage rather than a staff. Um, then you have your range ma uh, physical DPS, kind of like your archer. Uh, instead of using a bow and arrow, it's using a sniper rifle and dual pistols that you can see right down there. And your off oh, off healer rather is pretty unique. Your off healer is called an occultist, um, also known as a necromancer. I'm not sure which is what they're going to use for the English version. But this one is a DPS class that can switch to off healing. The classes are not gender locked. Um, there's three male classes or uh, male races and three female races so the classes are sometimes race locked but not gender locked so if you go to a sniper here oh, pretty cool animation. let's skip that the sniper can only become this middle race of male uh, it can't choose the other two, but it can choose the other two races of female. So you have three female races, three male races. And I'm really glad they're not gender locked, because uh, I, I personally hate gender locked games. One thing I want to quickly mention is that this game is not a sandbox game. It is kind of on rails. And one of the biggest examples of it is if you click on the quest, it automatically runs you to that quest. So I know some people like it. Some people like the having the auto pathing and others don't. I'm indifferent. So make what you will of it. Another quick thing about the game, it's something that I haven't seen in a really long time. Uh, personal shops. You, I think it's level 35 that you're able to unlock it. Um, you can start up your personal shop, put some items in there and start selling. So very reminiscent of older, older genre games, older MMO games. You don't really see this modern games at all. The overall combat in the game is really fantastic, really fast paced, uh, again, really reminiscent of, I would say, a little bit of a mix of Terra Online and Blade and Soul. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this game. Uh, it's coming out, I mean, the close beta is coming out, October is when they said it, so it should, at least open beta should be coming out probably end of the year or beginning of next year. That pretty much wraps up my early view. Let me know what you guys think about the game. You know, do you want me to cover certain aspects? I'll definitely do a class video soon. Uh, so until next time, it's Khalif PvP. Peace.